Hello guys and welcome to the second video of the grid pane layout in today's video we are going to cover uh, more details about this uh, this grid pane this, uh, this pane okay so let's go direct to directly to this slide and these are the three points that we're going to cover today and the first one is the column and row constraints and inside of it we are going to review three concepts the minimum the preferred and the maximum size of a column or a row and then we're uh, covering the vertical and horizontal rows. These uh, are the priorities, the growth priorities of the column or the row. And also we are reviewing again margins. Okay. So let's go directly to NetBeans. Explain it in the with the code. Okay. So this is the same code as the uh, last video, but we have added some uh, details, some lines of code, uh, in order to complete this uh, this grid pane. Uh, topic okay so the first one is constraints these are rows and column constraints and constraints are used to uh, to manage the size of the column and the rows uh, of the grid pane uh, inside our applications this means that if we uh, increase or decrease the size of the window uh, whether it is the width or the height uh, the constraints will tell the, the grid pane how to grow will it grow more or shrink or stay the same. Okay, so we have two types of constraints. The first one is column constraints here, and the second is uh, row constraints. One for columns and the other one for rows. Okay, so we have uh, in this case we have defined we have two columns in our application, and we have defined column one and column two constraint. Okay, so the the first one we are using the constructor column constraints. Uh, constructor and we're passing three values. The first one is the minimum uh, size, the second the preferred size, and the third one is the uh, maximum size size of the column. Okay, so this is the uh, the application. This is the final result, and let's explain uh, each of them. The minimum size uh, means the minimum size of the column. Uh, okay, when the window uh, decreases. Uh, its width. For example, we have uh, for the first column here, we have defined a minimum size of 100 pixels. This means if I decrease the width of the window, this column will shrink until it is 100 pixels of width and no and no less than that. Okay, that's 100 pixels. Okay, and we have then the preferred size. And the preferred size is like the and the startup uh, size of the of the node when i execute application that will be the preferred size it will be the size of the of the column sorry uh, when the application starts running okay the maximum size will be the opposite of the minimum size if i increase the size of this uh, the size of this window uh, our uh, our column it's allowed to grow until that that uh, that value in this case 300 pixels okay so that's the that's how it works uh, in this case it is not growing because we have a priority uh, we have set a priority uh, for this column and it will take all the space available okay so that's why it's not growing until not going to the to the maximum size this column okay because of this column we are going to review this in a few minutes okay so that's that's the minimum the preferred and the maximum size okay the same applies for the row constraints it's the same but in a vertical way okay in this case we have here uh, this column we have applied only a constraint for this this row sorry the, the fifth row which is this one with the button inside Okay, and we have set uh, a minimum size of, of uh, 75 pixels height. So this means that if I decrease the height of this window, it will shrink, and uh, this row will shrink until it is 75 pixels, no less than that. And it will, in this case, we have said that the maximum uh, size is 200 pixels of height and if I grow this grow the height of this window it will stop at 200 
uh, pixels. And then we have the prepare size, and the prepare size, uh, size is the same, 100. It's like the startup uh, size of the, of the node. Uh, okay. But it doesn't matter if the uh, if we have set a hundred pixels of prefer size and our node inside of the row or column is uh, is bigger than that, uh, it will adapt uh, the grid pin will adapt its size to to show all the all the information inside of that cell. Okay, so the the prefer size is only uh, is there, but it's, it, it, it can be modified by the application if it is needed. Okay. Then uh, we have here the, uh, the priorities. This is important as well. Uh, for example, uh, for the column the column two constraint here, with 200 uh, pixels of minimum size, 300 of preferred size, and here we are saying that the maximum size is the max value, the max the max value, the max uh, maximum number of pixels available to grow. There's no limit. Okay, it's not fixed like this one. There's no limit to grow. It can grow uh, whatever it needs to, to grow. Okay, for this constraint, we are setting the uh, horizontal grow priority, which will be always. Okay, this means that this column has uh, the priority to grow uh, whatever it needs to grow in order to fill all the space available in the window. Okay, horizontally. We're talking horizontally here. All the space available. Okay, so in this case, we have this text field here, and as you can see, if I, you know, increase the width of the window, it is growing. Okay, no matter the size of the window, it is it is growing with it. Okay, so it has the priority to grow with the window to fill all the space available. Okay, this will only happen if we set this double. Uh, this constant value, max value here, because there is no limit. It can grow uh, with the window, okay, no matter the size of the window. But we can say, for example, that we want to, uh, uh, you know, to the final limit for this uh, this column to grow. So we can we can do it. For example, we here can say that we want it to stop at 600 pixels. It will you know, we'll keep the priority, but it will stop at six, 600 pixels. So let's take a look. Okay, here. Okay, so let's increase the, the size. And as you can see, it, it grows, grows, grows. Okay, but when the window, when the grid pane, when the column, sorry, is 600 pixels, it will stop growing. Okay, that's the limit. That's the limit for for the grid pane to grow, for this column to grow. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, the priority. Uh, we have more priorities. Uh, we have a row priority with uh, with a different method with it, which is set uh, b grow. And row five has a, an always priority, so it means that it will fill the the space available in the in application but will not grow uh, sorry uh, it will it won't grow more than 200 pixels as you can see here in the row constraint okay so that's how the priorities works uh, and here we have another uh, lines of code here we are adding the, the constraints to the to the application to the grid pane and we are using get column constraints and the add method to add the column constraints and for the rows we are adding we're using get row constraints and the add method as well in this case we're using an, an a method with index so we can we can define different constraints for for different columns uh, for the for the first column we're adding a column one constraint and the second column we're adding column to constraints. The first column is uh, the column zero and then and so on they will <coughs> they will increase the, the number. Okay you can do it this way or you can use another method and I will show you in a few seconds which is this one add all 
inside of it you can add all the constraints okay column one then a comma and then column two and so on okay but we are using this one the one thing with the index will uh, it's uh, useful when you want to add only a uh, one constraint if you have for example three columns and you only want a constraint for the third column you can add directly to it but you need to to add to the other two columns the column one and column two you need to add an empty constraint for example with the rows we are doing this where we only define a constraint for row five but we need to add an empty constraint for the other four columns okay. so that's why here we define an empty constraint we are adding it to the other columns and then we are in the constraint with values to the fifth column and the same applies to the columns okay so that's how you got it and just quickly quickly i'm going to show you the the margin that i added to the to the text fields okay the text field here and um, we use the set uh, the static uh, method set margin inside the grid pane up a grid pane class and we are passing the the field and the node here and then with the insets class where you what uh, define the pixels of, of margin that we want for each side of the of the node and in this case are five pixels as you can see they are here five pi pixels around around the, the text field each uh, text field okay and that's and that's how we do to set a margin okay so well that's everything for this video and i hope you find it useful and i hope you can use uh, this grid pane to create more advanced uh, and more ordered applications thank you thanks everyone for watching this video and please don't miss the next one because we are uh, creating a user interface example uh, and we're combining uh, some of the layouts that we just reviewed in our videos. So please like, subscribe, and share, and see you next time.